Sally and I have been building a relationship with a couple for several years. We meet with them every Wednesday night. I'll tell you a fun story. They'd never been to a church in their lives and didn't like what they did see. <laughs> and uh, the gentleman, we'll call him Joe, had a father who had taught him against religion. So he'd never read a Bible, never been to a church, had avoided all of his life. And then they got married and they thought, well, together in our new marriage now, we'll go try a church. So they went to one and they didn't like it. And they told Sally and I about it. So Sally and I said, hey, you ought to try our church. And they said, like, oh, we didn't know you had a church. We said, yeah, we have a church. It's, yeah, we meet in our home. And they said, well, like, who comes? And we said, well, Sally and I come. It's not very big. (laughs) But I said, it's a cool church because we have a meal every time we get together for our church meetings. And they said, are you, like, serious? And they said, yeah, we do it on Wednesday nights. Do you want to join us? So they said, okay. Do we, like, have to keep coming if we don't like it? Seriously, that was what they asked it. I said, no, if you don't like it, it's okay. So they came. We had a meal. And before the meal, we gave thanks. And we said, let's just take a moment to acknowledge that the good things in our lives are gifts from God. Because the Bible says every good and perfect gift comes down from our Father above. So we each went around and shared something we were thankful for. And then we had a starter, and then we said, you know, and not only should we give thanks to God, but we should actually pray to God for each other. What is a need that we each have? So we each went around and shared, and, and they, they didn't pray, but we prayed blessings for them. Because it's good news, remember? <laughs> it's good news. <laughs> it's not like trying to coerce them or get them to do something. And we had our main course, and then I read a passage in the Scripture, And like one of the ones we've been reading, and we discussed it, but it was brand new language. They'd never read the Bible before. And then, and then we said a blessing at the end. And then they walked up when we had coffee and dessert. They got ready to leave and they were walking out the door. They said, like, is there anything more? Like, I said, no, that's it. And we had to have chocolate dessert that night. So they left, and I, we'd, Sally and I said, well, we don't know if they're coming back to church or not, how this is going to work. But they sent an SMS, a text, and they said, uh, we loved our church. We're coming back. We love our chocolate church, is what we're going to call it. 